Welcome back to Kabino Games and today we are playing with Chao, the Water Dragonite. Alright, here are his skills. Of course, fully maxed up. He's got the flow passive that makes him immune against heal blocks. He's got justice that goes through shields and of course awakens into critical rate by 15%. That's really good. We got him on a Violent Nemesis Attack, Crit Damage, HP build. Okay. It's his debut and we're going to bring him in this Guardian 3 Guild War. Let's go! Are battling Candy House and yes it's a light and dark heavy you know guild and let's go hunt for a light and dark defense I've been seeing a lot of this Molly Fuki combo uh, especially in siege battles so do stand by for that um, same time for today again we are looking for light and dark monsters so it's not just your regular guild war it's going to be a light and dark Guardian 3 guild war and ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have found our first target. We got here a Geldnir Vigor and that's a Zeratu together with that Carcano Bastet and a Chroma. Alright, let's see what we can bring here. For Geldnir and this Zeratu Vigor, I'm thinking we'll need someone to tank that Zeratu for sure. Alright, so here we got Halfas together with the Sierra and the Chasun because Sierra and our Chasun are both wind. This Vigor is going to keep attacking onto Halfas, same as the Zirato is going to keep attacking onto Halfas. At the same time, for the second round, we're going to bring in our Luis together with the Chao and the Tessarian. We will kill this Carcano first because just in case, you know, the Bastet provides shields and stuff. So here we go. First to kill will be the Vigor. Okay. The thing about Keldnir is you'll need multi hits to generally, well, prevent him from giving that, you know, from eating up the knowledge. Well, not really multi hits, but more like not too many buffs, I guess. Oh, but the heal block from this. Yeah, the Vigor though. Yeah, I like bombs because they take turns and then when they take damage, you'll see it doesn't really affect much on the guild near. But when it, if it's our turn, it actually hits hard, generally. Okay, more knowledge. Okay, we'll try to avoid putting buffs for now. Since we got the Geldnir on zero. But of course, the half us will need him to buff up with the invincibility so that he can survive this. Yep. Okay. With the Vigor out. Ooh. Heavy hitting Zeratu, man. Okay, there goes the Vigor. And pretty much... Yeah, I'm not afraid of the Geldnir to... If, you know, just in case it attacks our Chasun or our... Um, Sierra here. But nonetheless, we will need to soften up this... Zeratu just in case. Yeah, we're not gonna buff. More bombs. And... It's we're pretty Gucci. Yeah. A really nice a really nice, you know, light and dark monster that's Gladnir. Orebua Monami. <laughs> okay. Alright, here comes Chow. Against the Akroma. 
now uh, put up immunity and shields let's go defense break this carcano with triple crush okay and then justice from our chow with no attack buff defense break how much 32k not too shabby yeah even if say the acroma goes one versus one against the chow we should be good because remember chow heals 15 percent every turn and the acroma doesn't really heal in general yeah it's not like a camilla where um she you know can heal on like a first aid passive and stuff but yeah um this one is pretty gucci but of course he may do a lot of damage at the same time we can't oblivion her so let's go kill this bastet first nice valent proc from the louise okay just this all right three versus one yeah that god's shield plus the silence is just so op especially in like rta with that HP lead coming from this Akroma, it's a really good LD monster. Especially if you pair him or her, rather, with the Molly. Oh man, so good. And so many LDs. OP. Okay, we've done the plus three. We haven't won this Guild War, so let's go for a plus two Light and Dark Monster Tower here. Yeah, the Carcano Molly. I, I believe that was it. Yeah, the plus twos. We got here a Sun Zhang Lao together with a Nephthys. On, of course, different rounds of defense. Nonetheless, let's go into this one. We want to see Nephthys in action together with the Sun Zhang Lao. Now I'm thinking, for the first round, um, unfortunately, they don't have... What do you call it? Uh buff removal so i'm thinking we can bring our feng yen together with the emilia and our chow here even though the common would have shields they don't have immunity um plus at the same time you know yeah sure they have heals but no strip no immunity should work for the second rod we will not underestimate this clara i'm pretty sure it's going to be a fast clara so we'll bring in the Rauk with the higher base speed of 108 versus the Clara. Now the thing with this Garo Rauk bird defense is we might have a hard time killing that Barbara. So I'm thinking let's use our defense against this defense as an offense. Like what we would always say, you know the best defense is a really good offense, right? And just to show you how it pretty much works right we do have a swift rock and yes we have violent oracles in the form of Ciara and our very own Gianna just make sure if you're gonna pull up this combo the both oracles should have the high crit rate okay here's our Fung our Emilia we've shown you the Chao and let's go straight at it I guess generally Chao is good against Okeanos and stuff and as other fire monsters but in this case he's also good especially for enemies who have shields like just like Laika right in case there's a Leona here we can bring in our Chao or in that case also our Laika now I'm thinking who to kill here first well I want to kill this Vigor with that defense break how much justice 29k all right yeah it's okay because our child is gonna heal that right and then justice through the shield okay yeah not whoa 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 um wow that's a lot of damage coming from this um common right the sun zhang lao yeah, it has a defense break on the first skill. Okay, let's go cleanse that. Okay, justice onto the Sun Zhang Lao. Ignoring the shield. Oh man, so good. 
There goes the function. But again, justice through the shield. <laughs> so good. Alright. Now, okay, that's good that we're faster. I'm thinking let's go work on this Clara first. Right, because she does have the defense break and the shield. I mean the uh, uh, stuns. But we do need to stun her here. Can we get stuns? Oh no. The Neph is resisted, but I'm going to put the bomb on the Barbara. Okay, because at the end of the day, she's going to be the main damage dealer who's going to kill our rock. And then at the same time, yeah, rock silenced is okay because we do have defense break. Uh huh. Yeah, on the first skill. So we can kill the Clara. Nice one. Team up. More attack bars. Alright. We got the bomb. Uh, okay, nice Valent proc. Two bombs. Detonating. Boom. Oh man. So good. Man, if the AI of this defense is good. I mean, you can... There are a lot of counters to it, but that's not what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> okay, now time for the plus one tower. Let's see. Looking for Lion Dark Monsters. Yeah. Yeah, how about we play with Lauren? I feel like playing with the Lauren. Tian Lang. Okay. We got a Gianna and a Dark. That's a Dark Beast Rider. For the first team, we're going to bring our Tessa, Perna, and Tetra. Alright. We'll just give them the first turn. And then for this second round, we're going to bring our Chow here together with a Fran and Lauren. Okay, we got, yeah, not the fastest Lauren, but with the speed lead from the Fran, we should be able to take the first turn before they do, right? Uh, at the same time, yeah, we have the Chow to go for the finish that the Saryan is going to be hitting the Fran and the Lauren because he's not going to attack onto our Chow. So, we should be good. Okay, there goes our builds. And let's go straight to the fight. Okay, second turn team. Resisted. Oh, Valent. Wow, three turns. Oh my lolly. <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's wake up the Perna. Okay. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how to beat this because... Wow, that's a crazy savanna, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Um, I was hoping to oblivion her. Uh, oh. Wow. That's one crazy savanna. <laughs> oh, she's not done yet. No, she's not done yet. Oh, okay. Uh, die. <laughs> oh man, poor Tessarian. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, let's go silver plated bullet onto this dark beast rider. Buff up. Looking at the attack bars, we will get a turn before the Molly does. Okay, and then let's go for justice. Nice. Ooh, wow. That lower the attack bars of this Molly. Heal up our friend. Okay. Yep, work on the dark. Okay, finish. Um, we got slow on the Molly, so... Let's just make sure we reduce their attack bars. Justice once again. Nice. Sue. Yep, and a three 
versus one against the Tessarian is not gonna hit onto the Chao. Yeah, Chao, very good for sure. Um, we will be practicing more with him and we'll bring him to some RTA action. But for the time being, you know, you did want to see some RTA. So we'll show you some of our RTA fights as we, yeah, battle our way through the season. Okay, in this fight, it's mostly, you know, every time that Fire M. Bison, you know, they're more often than not going to go for like high HP. So I chose to ban it, but then I brought in a Molong, right? The thing here is the main threat from this team of the opponent is, of course, the Kaki, right? Because the Kaki is going to be doing a lot of damage, but at the same time, yeah, he has a lot of heals. Especially from that Yon Hong. The Yon Hong more often than not is built on a fast swift. Unless of course you got you know G3 players where they'll be having fast violence, you know, violent sets, which is a different story altogether. But nonetheless, we need we needed to kill this Kaki first. Yeah, unfortunate with that glancing, and then again a violent proc from that Triana uh, but nonetheless we wanted we could kill because we had multi hits you know just make sure you're bringing in multi hitters just to make sure you know you pop salvation pass it at the same time you kill that opponent being supported by the Triana and then at this point um, the next threat would be this Yon Hong right yeah because the Yon Hong has the heals she does have the multi hits as well and she does a lot of damage so yeah our main goal here was to reckless assault the yon hong and with a three versus two there's no way you could have come back from that um next up when this first pick a molong automatically you know they're gonna be going for some hp damage so i wanted to bring an additional healer in the form of our fran but at the same time he kind of changed up his offense, right? So he brought in a Barbara. And I really wanted to kill this Antares first. Because the Antares can just proc and proc, you know. And can be very dangerous for our um, Diana, right? At the same time, he wanted to really kill the Barbara. Because the Barbara was the main threat towards his fire DPS monsters. So, I had to kill the Ikares there mainly because she was doing a lot of damage plus yeah I mean she had a softer touch <laughs> by the look of it here it was really good damage coming from our Barbara although yeah she kind of dripped in the first turn right when she didn't exactly remove beneficial effects on the Antares um, I have to review that also at the same time review the build but nonetheless um, with the those monsters it was a GG um, for this one again I always wanted to take the Diana out of that equation but then he pulled up a ragdoll which is very scary for me so I wanted to take out the immunity from him the Lulu because we do have a lot of debuffs coming from our team and yeah with a Fran um, we do have sustain he does have sustain with the uh, what am I call it? Yep, with Annabelle, but then he quit. Uh, mainly because I guess we do have a lot of debuffs coming in his way, and he didn't have immunity, and he just used up his heal. And then here, um, this battle we faced triple art masters, right? And I didn't want to fight um, that Water Heigang mainly because we were going for the strip. But I guess, uh, you know, at the end of the day, these RTA battles are always prone to a violent proc. That's why a lot of pro players just use violent runes and not even sip runes because the violent procs can just ruin everything. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend ahead. We'll see you on the next one.